Hey y'all, welcome back to the channel. So in today's video, we're doing a custom front winch bumper for the Willys Jeep. So I went ahead and kind of jumped the gun on this and I was trying a couple different things. I wasn't sure which direction I was going with this yet. I started out actually, I put like a plate here with some spacers. My winch mount plate was gonna be like up here my winch was gonna be like up here. It was gonna be way too tall. I wanted a lower center of gravity. I really wanted the fair lead down here coming out of the bumper. I think that looks really cool on these flatties. So what I ended up doing is I took this winch mount plate. Now this is a Warren 8274 winch mount plate from TMR Customs. I'll show you the winch here in a minute. But as far as the mount goes, this is really hard to beat for the money. They were one of the most competitively priced I could find and the winch bolted right up to it. Looks like good quality. And then for my bumpers here, this is two by four, three sixteenths wall cold roll. And I split it in half. I added these angles to it, matched the angles on my winch mount plate. This is all just tacked together and there's a lot more work here left to do. Now that you got an idea about the bumper, let's go look at that winch. All righty y'all. So this is the infamous Warren 8274 winch. It's an 8,000 pound winch. I know it holds a ton of line. It's got a pretty quick reel in rate. Now I don't have all the specs with me and you can see this thing's not in great shape. I bought it used, not working, but I got a really good deal on it. So I'm gonna end up rebuilding this, going through the whole winch and doing a few little upgrades. Like there's a controller upgrade, a few other things, but this is the winch that's gonna be going on this Jeep. You just gotta have one of these 8274s for the flatties. All right, so like I said, I've only got this bumper just tacked on here right now, but everything is square and true and it looks good. These are too long. These are gonna need to be cut off and put a little chamfer down here on the end. And then I've also got to plate the ends. I'm gonna to to take this bumper back off though, because I had to clearance out a little bit right there for the steering box. So I gotta seal that up because I don't want stuff filling up this bumper. I'm probably gonna go ahead and put the plate down here I've got a piece of quarter inch plate, eight inches wide, and I'm gonna make me a little cardboard template. And I'll go ahead and cut that out of here, get all that tacked together. And I've also got this piece of tube right here. I'm gonna use it to clamp up on here and that'll help keep everything nice and straight while I'm welding it. I'm probably gonna finish weld it on the Jeep just to make sure that it stays pretty straight. That's got good support. So I'm gonna go ahead and measure out for that plate, get it tacked on. Then I'll feel comfortable about taking this back off and we'll fix that hole. Maybe we'll trim the ends. I might go ahead and mark those and then I can stick this thing back on and finish weld it. All right, so that's got that plate cut out. Fits up in there real good. I did, I oversized it just a little bit. I oversized it some because when I take this back off, I'll go ahead and grind it in, trim it to fit just right. It's always easier to have a little bit too much and cut it off than have it too short and have to fill it in with weld or cut a new piece, scrap this piece. So this looks good, gonna go ahead get tacked up and welded in here. And that should have all this pretty rigid. So I can take this back off and do a little bit more welding and fix that hole. Mm -hmm. 
All right, so I got the bumper back off, put it up here on the bench. So now you can see a little bit easier where I've got this cut out here. And that is just to clear that steering box because it just pokes out maybe a quarter inch or so. So I'm gonna cut me off a piece of pipe, stick down in there and seal it up so no trash can get down in here because I am gonna seal the ends up too. I'm gonna go ahead and trim off this extra because I oversized this a little bit and get all this ground down a little bit cleaned up. Then I'll throw it back on the Jeep one more time. Maybe do a test fit of the winch and then we'll start doing some real welding. So I changed my mind about welding this up on the Jeep. I've got a bunch of good tacks all over this thing. I might do a couple more just here and there, like back here where I couldn't get to. But there's no reason I shouldn't be able to weld this up on the bench and keep everything straight. I'm just gonna go slow, take breaks, you know, try not to overheat it too much. I wanted to show you all this though. So I got these little cutouts up here. And then the back, I've got some other slots. And what that's gonna be is I've got these pieces of half inch bar two inches wide so let me step over to the jeep and i'll show you what these are about so these bars are going to go right here that's going to be a good weld point to keep this thing nice and solid and then my d-ring hooks are going to go like right in front of this right in front of this frame rail so this will be a really good strong recovery point uh, it's something i saw another youtuber do i thought it was a cool idea and it really is going to strengthen up this little section of bumper here All right, I got this thing all stuck together with that hot metal glue gun. Everything looks pretty good. It's all finished welded. Don't look like anything really warped or got out of square. It shouldn't have, I had a bunch of good tacks on there. So I did put it back on here once and mark out for where these blocks need to go and tack them on. And then I butt welded them. So I got those on. I've still just got this tacked onto the Jeep right now. I think I'm gonna throw that winch up there check one more time for clearances check out this so this is the clearance between the steering box that's the clearance between that shackle and i actually ended up moving these gusset corners in here an inch on each side two inches overall or it wasn't going to fit and i just kind of split the corners a little bit where i had enough room to bend it in i did all that before i started welding all this up so i'm going to throw that winch up there one more thing I didn't know about the Warren 8274 is it takes these special square nuts. We've got the correct hardware now. I'm gonna slap it on there, see how it looks. Not done yet though. I still gotta trim these tubes, plate the ends, and I've got a couple other things I'm gonna show y'all. Got the winch mounted up in there, and I for sure like this ideal way better than my original ideal. I've got all this clearance in front of the radiator here. It's nice and low. Got my weight down low, so, and my fair lead's gonna come out right here. I don't have that yet. I need to get a fair lead. Also, I'm debating cable or synthetic rope, so comment down below what I should go back with. Now that I'm happy with how this winch is, got tons of room back here i actually could have went a little bit farther back had it not been for that steering box i've got 
my ends marked out here so i'm going to cut it off straight and put a chamfer on it same thing down here on that end and then i've got some quarter inch plate here and i'm going to cap the ends just get everything finished welded and then i do have a couple more things i've got some d-ring mounts and some d-rings i'm going to throw on here and that should have this bumper pretty much knocked out Alright, so I got the ends cut off, got some chamfers on there, so that looks really good. Got a good profile to it. So I took some of this quarter inch bar stock, stuck it in the vise, bit me this little end cap here. So I'll just seal that up, keep trash and stuff from getting in there. I've got this one made, I gotta make one more, weld those up. And then there's a couple more things, we gotta do this bumper before I'm gonna call it done. these capped off and ground down and they look really good sealed that bumper up really nice so like i said i got a couple more things to do and then i'm gonna call this good one of them is i've got my recovery points and these are just some generic blocks i got off of amazon i want to say i was gonna make them but when you really think about it by the time you cut this drill this hole you know clean this up you're gonna have a lot of time and a lot of cut off wheels or blades or drill bits or what have you and i think these were like 10 bucks a piece so it's really hard to beat the price uh like barnes four wheel drive has them i think you know tmr customs there's several sites that have them i think these come off amazon though i'll link it down below but i've got my bars welded to the side right here and then actually, when I cut this off, I had the opportunity to weld on the inside of this tube too. And then I've got them butt welded here, so it should be super strong. But right in front of that frame rail, that's where these are gonna end up at. Something like that right there. And then I've got some D-rings, also from Amazon. They've got the little isolators on them. They've got little uh, rubber isolators in here too to keep them from clanking around. Thought they'd kind of match the wheels pretty good. That's pretty close to the same color orange. I'm gonna measure out where these need to go, throw these on, the D-rings. I'm gonna call this bumper done.
So I got the D-ring mounts just tacked on. Make sure I was gonna lock it. Then it's gonna look really good. So I'm gonna go ahead and burn those in. This bumper will be done. All right, y'all. So those D-rings, that was the last piece to the puzzle. I'm gonna call this bumper done. I'm really happy with all the decisions I made on this. I'm also really happy with all the purchase components I got. The TMR Customs winch mount plate for the 8274. Couldn't be happier with that. For the price and the time it would take me to buy a chunk of steel and bend it, cut it out, get all the holes to match up, for the price you just can't beat it. These D-rings and shackle mounts, I believe I got those off of Amazon. Uh, several off-road parts stores sell those. I just kind of went with whatever the best deal was. That's another component. I could have made those and I've probably got the material for it, but by the time you cut it and drill it and clean it up and get it on there, your time is valuable. So I went ahead and purchased those. They're like 10 bucks a piece or something. And then I got the orange D-rings, the orange shackles to kind of match my orange wheels. I thought that'd be kind of cool. A few things I want to review real quick though. The piece of pipe I welded in for clearance for the steering box. I welded the inside of that as well as the top to seal that bumper off. I made sure that both tubes and both sides was sealed off so that way no trash or water or anything can get in there and it should make this bumper last a really long time. All purchase components used in this, I'm gonna link them in the description so y'all can go check them out, including the square nuts for the 8274. Now, like I said before, the winch is gonna need a full rebuild. We'll go through that in a future video. I just need it now to mock this thing up, make sure everything's gonna clear and look good. I'm really glad I went ahead, took the time and lowered this thing down. It would be a lot easier to do it the way I started out, you know, doing the spacers, stacking it up above the steered box. It puts the top of it, you know, right up here towards the top of the bars. I think this looks really clean though. It keeps your weight a lot lower and I really like the look of having your fair lead and hook coming out of the middle of the bumper. The fair lead is one more thing I am gonna have to get. I don't have one right now, but there will be one. I'm still deciding between, should I go back with cable or synthetic rope? So comment down below should I put cable or synthetic back on this winch? I appreciate y'all checking out this week's video. I hope you enjoyed it and I'll see y'all next time.